Uh, among the cities that can be considered equal in terms of population and permanent settlement, Istanbul has a very privileged place for the culture it contains, therefore the diversity and richness of music. It was the favorite city of the three great empires and the administrative center of the last two, Eastern Rome, Byzance and the Ottoman Empire. All these qualities have made Istanbul a city that has been the scene of musical performances originating from the unique cultures of people who have different languages, different beliefs and views for thousands of years. In 18th century Istanbul, different congregational and ethnic groups start to come together in the public sphere. From different parts of the world, voyagers, diplomatic personnel, Christian missionaries, dervishes were visiting Istanbul. This visitor traffic gained momentum in the 18th century, uh, continued to increase in the 19th century. Some of those visitors stayed for a short time, some of them published their observation and impressions, uh, and some of them spent a long time in Istanbul for duty or other reasons. As a result, visitors brought elements of their own culture to Istanbul, and of course they were impressed by the rich cultural atmosphere of Istanbul. In order, order to understand how Istanbul is nourished by both its own internal dynamics and influences, uh, influences carried from outside, outside world, I will try to describe this affair reflected in the texts. Let's see them now. Uh, first, the relationship between Armenian music and notation system with the Ottoman music world. In the 19th century, with the initiative of Hamparsum and his friends, a series, change, a series change took place in the Armenian notation. A note that could write the Armenian church music and classical Turkish music competently was born. With the system called the Hamparsum notation, many works belonging to Ottoman cultural world, especially classic music and religious or non-religious Armenian tunes, were recorded. Today, thousands of pieces of retail notes written in Hamparsum notes are available in libraries and private collections. In addition to the Hamparsum note, traces of music can be found in Turkish texts written in the Armenian alphabet in the 19th century. The most prominent of these are the Turkish lyrics with Armenian letters. In some old books, besides the lyrics written in Arabic letters, we come we come across uh, very uh, heavy Ottoman or Persian lyrics written in Armenian letters. Uh, some Turkish folk songs or songs were published as a book of lyrics in Armenian letters. In fact, the third of the Turkish music book published in the Ottoman Empire is a 15-page song collection written in Armenian, Armenian letters. There are songs in different maqams, gazelles, and some folk literature products were published in 1865 in the book named Şarkiler Mecmuasi. As a composer, in this book, the name of the Armenian composer and Tamburi Nikos A, who lived at that time, is mentioned. He is considered one of the leading masters of Turkish music. When we compare the books with other contemporary sources of lyrics, we understand that the popular songs that in Istanbul at that time were presented to attention of music lovers from the Armenian community. The example I will give belongs to a Turkish lyrics written in Armenian letters. Uh, can you see? This one. Uh, we still we, we, we see the first uh, example. Oh, okay, okay, it's correct. Okay, that's the correct yes. <laughs> In fact, some of the additions were made to a fossil mejmasa that was arranged. Uh, in the middle of the 18th century, with the help of experts, experts from the Armenian community, we had difficulties in deciphering one of these Armenian letter lyrics. So I asked my dear friend Jacob Olay to transliterate this verse as much as it could be read. 
uh, open my request, he outlined the lyrics with a careful examination. I found the entire text by following the conclusion he reached out. Special thanks once again to dear Jacob. Uh, as a result of my research on the lyrics miscellanies, I was able to reach the lyrics and its tag, an example for the miscellanies in which the lyrics are found. Here is this example, this example, uh, which, yes. Actually, it's, uh, um, you, you see, uh, Armenian uh, alphabet, uh, Armenian uh, letters. But um, uh, very heavy uh, Ottoman lyrics, uh, heavy mean um, complex, uh, how we can describe, uh, please. Uh, where is that Turkish? Hmm. Hem esiri dam zülfü halu haddindir gönül, hem yolunda pay mali ser kaddindir gönül. Pa bürehne bir gedaye bir serü saman iken aşık olmak ol şehi hüsne ne haddindir gönül. And a second picture, this one. A lyrics in same makam, located on the opposite side of the page in the miscellany. With the lyrics written in Armenian letters, yes. Uh, one of the lyrics is Zaharia's famous composition in Makam Humayun. This one. Düşmesün miskün gönüller. You know. Zülfü Amber Bulele. Efendim. Okay. Second. Uh, traces of the presence of gypsy musicians uh, and composers in the Ottoman uh, Ottoman palace. Sorry. The gypsies are very color, uh, colorful and elaborated culture with traditions that vary from uh, the region to region. They have a very rich musical culture. The gypsies of Istanbul both preserved their unique musical culture and continued their production as well as contributed to other music genres in Istanbul. They have been especially active in the entertainment branch of Macau music. Gypsies lived in Istanbul uh, since uh, Byzantine period. We can find their presence in Turkish music in documents from the 17th century. Since the end of the 18th century, we can identify the names of some gypsy musicians along with the instruments they played and the songs they composed. Because gypsy and Jewish composers were generally recorded in the sources by uh, indicating their ethnic affiliation. At the beginning of the names of the gypsies, Chingene, Chingane, or Kıpti, Kıpti was written. Guided by the song miscellanies, we have, uh, we have my research shows uh, that at the beginning of the 19th century, instrumentalist, instrumentalists and composers made music in the Ottoman palace were among the gypsies. You are seeing the first pages of uh, the two song miscellanies written by Sultan Mahmud II. This one, not that one, that, this one, yes. In these examples, uh, in this mejma, in this uh, miscellany, we see gypsy composers uh, mentioned as the owners of uh, some songs in one of the miscellanies, Kemani Kıpti Ibrahim, Kıpti Kemani Ali, and Çingene, Çingane Kemani Ibrahim. Nasıl bunu büyüteceğiz ya? Nasıl yaklaşacağımızı bilemiyorum. Bu normalde yaklaşır. Evet. Kıpti, Kemani Kıpti İbrahim, Kemani Kıpti Ali ve Çingene Kemani İbrahim. Yes. My third, my third title, yes. The dance effects of Jewish composers in classical Turkish music. 
Our recent studies show that among different ethnic and communal communities, Jews are the uh, earliest contributor to classical Turkish music. The Jews who have been in close contact with the Ottoman musical culture uh, since the 16th century had to wait until the 18th century to, ri uh, to rise high impact composers. Ilya, one of the brilliant composers of the second half uh, of the 18th century and the beginning of the 19th century, was a Jewish according to the anonymous sources, although he is generally portrayed as a room in the sources. It should not be wrong information that Jewish is written next to his name in different lyrics, miscellanies of the uh, 18th and 19th uh, centuries. Uh, as far as we know, uh, we know uh, there is no record in old uh, Greek room sources that Ilya was uh, wrong. Uh, yes. You can see. Beste, Remel, Ilya, Yahudi. Uh, Beste, Tabi, Tabi, Mustafa Efendi, you know. And uh, Ilya uh, is uh, very famous uh, fossil, uh, very famous takım, sasker takım. In the 19th century, we see that the most prominent names in the field of classical Turkish music or among the Jews. One of them is undoubtedly Tamburi Isak. The name of Tamburi Isak is recorded as Kemani Isak in early sources. Jewish sources confirm that he played the violin before the tambour and he was also proficient in, he, in this instrument. Selim III loved Isak very much, learned the tambour from him. Also, it is known that future master composers, especially Ismail Dede Efendi, benefited from him. Since Isaac was the most brilliant composer to emerge from among the Jews, he is sometimes referred as Jew in the sources. His high reputation caused other Jewish musicians around the Ottoman court, who were probably part of his team, to be overshadowed. For example, although he composed with Hacı Sadullah the Ağır Semai, halen de Solom or Salom can be read uh, both ways. Uh, in the first takım uh, or suite in the Şadaraban makam, this not very well known name was forgotten in time. This piece started to be recorded by Hacı Sadullah and today his information is embedded uh, in all the notes. In a miscellany, the composer of the work was written as Ilya. It seems that the name of the great composers from the Jewish community have engulfed the names of humble composers who may have composed only a few works. This page. Can you see? Semai Solom hanende. Solom or Salom. Nedir murad edildi küvi yani biz biliriz. It's a famous Şedaraban Ağır Semai. Go on. One of, uh, one of the not well known overshadowed by other Jewish composers is Yasef. Uh, actually uh, I saw uh, on uh, Panayotis uh, document, uh, archive, archive document. Yasef is a late 18th uh, and early 19th century composer. His identify and details of his life are unknown. Uh, in, uh, in some miscellanies, his name is recorded as Kelef. For an unknown reason, he composed Azmi Zade Haletis Rubai with great success and gave a competent example to the uh, to the few works in the Rubai matter, which is very difficult to compose. However, this work, like the work of Han and the Solom, has been recorded by Hajj Saadullah for unknown reason. Unfortunately, this false reference continued in the notes, and finally, Yasef's name was completely forgotten, although 
there is also a work uh, also a work uh, that has survived to the present day with this notation where are you yosef yosef is here Esta hafif yosef yahudi ikbali misaye humadan bilmem an excellent tester, an excellent tester in Hijaz. Evet. Another miscellany, Mejmoa. And another uh, from, uh, from the age of uh, Selim the uh, third, this, this Mejmoa. Okay. And my for, uh, fourth title, Italian Cantos in Arabic Letters. Manuscripts and Rare Books Library of Istanbul University, which has a very, a very rich collection of lyrics miscellanies. This book seems to be organized during the reign of Sultan Abdul Majid. In addition to the songs in maqams such as Shehna, Suznak, Husseini, and Huzan, there are very interesting lyrics in a section titled Canto Ali Songs and Cantos. Kantovari songs are in Turkish. After uh, Kantovari uh, mean uh, like Kanto, maybe. After these songs, which were written for the Sultan and whose com uh, whose composers were uh, were not specified, four Italian cantos were written by the same hand in Arabic letters. Hey. At first, I couldn't uh, even figure uh, out what the language it was in. With my Italian co uh, colleges, I tried to find uh, these lyrics. Uh, then, with the help of my dear college from the University of uh, Münster, Dr. Malik Sherif and his dear wife, we found that, uh, that at least uh, one of these four pieces was in a book containing opera lyrics, published in Florence uh, in 1832. Uh, for, the, uh, for those of you who know the Arabic alphabet, uh, I read the following part, of course, with the help of the opera book. <laughs> this one. Bunu niye yaklaştıramıyorum ya? Ah, okay. Oh yeah. Alma Inca Otake Otake no no Otake Alma Inca Chesolkata Chesolkata e, Della Vita Il Mare Infido Infido Questo Il Porto Questo Il Nido Questo Il Rino <laughs> It's interesting, isn't it? Okay. Okay. No. Ah, sorry. And uh, my five, uh, my fifth uh, case, Greek elements. No. Okay, sorry, sorry, technology, technological situation, sorry. A Greek elements in Istanbul, uh, popular songs. It is known uh, that some of Turkish uh, songs sung in Istanbul have Greek words. However, as a result of the examination made in lyrics books, Many songs uh, have been written in this way, but whose composition have been forgotten. They survive only with their lyrics and tag. Uh, it is possible to come across uh, such works in musical notes collection. The interesting uh, thing is that a, a significant part of those who composed uh, these works did not come uh, from the room community, but from among the Turks. In some works of composers such as Dede Efendi, Dede İsmailaki, and Tahira, 
uh, Greek language elements attract attention. This is the lyrics of a song by Tahira, the first known Turkish Kemençe player in the history of classical Turkish music. It is main uh, body of lyrics is in Turkish and its uh, courses are in Greek. Can you see Panayotis? Walter Hocam, can you see? <gülüyor> Sevdi dil bir mubeçe şu hişeni e, Tarı zülfün çekti zencire beni Duzahı aşka düşürdü bu teni Aga pesase Taba muya terfo kame I need your help Panayotis and Aya pesaset ta tabe taye tabe muya muya terku well need some time to think uh -huh. possible uh, combinations uh, could it be another language as well i don't know uh, i have to oh interesting uh, actually, uh, we have uh, this this piece's uh, uh, notation. The, the note of this piece. No. Agap. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah. Agapas. Aga. Agapas. Agapas. It's uh, with this kind of um, use of uh, the of the script needs a bit of time to think of more uh, obscure um, uh, combinations. But you know, agapase, agapase could could be an option. Okay, we can, I will uh, work it out and uh, you will. You will. yes, you yes, will. okay. Conclusion. The interaction between different cultures, of uh, which I am trying to present different examples here, uh, reveals the mobilization between social groups and cultures in 19th century Istanbul life. The reason for this mobility is undept uh, undoubtedly the modernization efforts of the Ottoman Empire. On the one hand, uh, groups that were uh, not used to being around the palace plus met with ruling elite. Uh, on the other hand, elements of European culture were written in the same miscellany, one after another, with songs from Oriental music. In order uh, to find the social dynamics uh, that determined the historical course uh, of 20th century, 20th century Turkey and, uh, and its relations uh, with its neighboring cultures, it is necessary to deepen the research on the text from the 19th century. Among the hundreds of documents that I left down from the dusty shelves of the archives and present to, uh, presented to you, only some of them, uh, have not even been opened and are waiting the attention of researchers. I thank all of you for your interest and patience. <laughs>